Hey, switch it to Ashby. That's not my thing, but I took it for the context of the video. Anyway, let's remix. <laughs> Recently, Andrew Wong, who's a YouTube extraordinaire, musician, incredible dude, hosted a contest. He had to remix his newest single, Yours. So I took up the challenge, I remixed the song, let's analyze it. There's no better place to analyze a song than the structure. The structure is your very basic intro, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, I'll explain in a minute, chorus, outro. It's simple, but it works. Let's start with the intro. I wanted something quiet, big, and open to make a very calm begin to the track. I kind of reference Dead Mouse's Let Go for this. And I started with a drone that just went Woom. Yeah, that's what it did. It just went After the open section with just Andrew samples on top of the drone, I added an organ sounding instrument, an organ, playing a very simple chord progression. In the verses, I kind of I took the drums and I skimmed them out a little bit to make just one kick drum on every beat from the beginning, and on the second half of the verse, I added a snare drum. The bass line, however, is this syncopated funky rhythm that I just thought sounded cool. To get into the chorus, I wanted to sort of riser to pull into the chorus, which Andrew had in one of his stems was a uh, riser sort of thing, which did exactly what I wanted it to do. In the chorus, the vocals are still left alone, but in the drums, I add the hi-hat to give an extra sense of rhythm in there. And the biggest change is the addition of two melodic elements. One long held out chords, chords and one pluck just to give the held out chords more bite in the very beginning of them. I'm a big fan of never do the same thing twice. So for the second verse, things quiet down back again, but two things are added. One, my own saxophone. The one that should be here that I didn't put here. There. Where it should be. 
I add my own play into the second verse just to give a little variation as well as something different in the drums. In the drums, I actually added on every fourth snare, I added a secondary snare that was just doused, drenched, and drowned in reverb. It was not bad, I just put a little reverb on it, just to make it sound bigger. I wanted the second chorus to be built up into something very unexpected. So it built, 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 and then everything just drops. No matter who you are, I'm yours. No matter who you are, I'm yours. I'm yours, no matter who you are. After the chorus is stated once, the drums come back in and stated a second time. And that brings us to the bridge. I call it a bridge because it's not really a bridge. It's actually a saxophone solo over just the chorus again. So I can't really call it a bridge because nothing changes, but now I'm playing this instead of Andrew singing. There's also a shaking going on in the second and third choruses for variation. When the last chorus is entered, I added the tenor in two separate octaves doubling on the chorus main melody line, which is the closest I'll ever get to duetting with Andrew. Anyway, after the last chorus, there's a breakdown kind of section where everything just kind of closes back down from this big loud party to party's over we're cleaning up that analogy works all instruments are in and then the cordy stab things leave and then the bass line leaves and then the organ leaves and then we're just left with the drums and the saxophone and they're stuck to clean up all the mess those jerks <laughs> That's how the remix works. That's how all the little parts come together to form one happy song that I can put into the interwebs and that you can type on your computer or mobile phone and pull down from the interwebs and put your headphones on and listen to it and enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to Andrew. Listen to the song. Subscribe to me. Thanks. Bye. No matter.